Yes, ma'am. Me and Chi Chi been hanging out for the pair. I missed my daughter. I know he was over here yesterday. My daughter wasn't came. Yesterday? Listen, my daughter came. He's over spent, here today. My daughter he was came. Here today. My daughter spent two days with me. My daughter right. came and spent the night. We we laid we laid in the, in the theater room with the watch movies uh -huh. and shit like that. Yeah, I saw y'all on the live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charlie, with some other stuff, Craig. Was, let's talk about this right here, girl. Uh, yeah. And then why did they think the fags broke up? They know we got to come and talk about stuff like this. I saw some of the nastiest comments about some of the nastiest, low down, filthiest comments about this. Mm -hmm. I saw some of the nastiest comments. Mm -mm. Some of the filthiest comments. And those same people will be trying to check you about what you said in response to attacks you've gotten. Some Craig, Craig, it was so filthy that I had to just cut it off. Yeah. So we're not going to talk about that this girl was 14 years old. We're going to talk about this girl was 14. Mm, mm, mm. This girl was 14 years old. Yeah. Put it back up there, Mo. dismemberment for those of you who don't may not know what that is and i'm really not trying to be funny when i say that because i know everybody may not know exactly what that is like basically he severed parts of her body chopped her up chopped her up dismembered cut off her arm cut off right. a hand you know cut off different limbs and you want to tell me go ahead mo take it out you want to tell me that i shouldn't feel no type of way about bitches doxing me when you got motherfuckers doing this to a fourteen year old, and you, that's what I'm saying. You want to tell me that I don't that I can't, bitch, that I got to have decorum with you? Mm hmm. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like they putting your address out. Like you don't know what kind of person could show up over here. Because they feel a way about trans people, you know what I mean, and then they'd be the first ones to talk about. Well, I, I, I didn't know, and yeah. did they know? Did they know where they was? Cause see, that's what y'all do. Y'all always it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But look at that. She played too grown and met the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. Wow. 14, Craig. That's atrocious. And her dad was there, and uh, her dad was calling, you know, her by her name and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like I just saw the comment. I was so I was so hurt by looking at the comments. Like God, Lee, he's just like there's no type of compassion at all. You see transgender, and you just like there's no compassion at all. Mm -hmm. 
But again, and I said this before, it, it, this is why I liken it to racism because racism really is rooted in the fear of the unknown. Because a lot of times these people who are racist, they haven't really spent much time around black people or that's, others. That's right. The bigger issue was that the dude was a pedophile. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. That was the first thing that actually popped in my head. Of course, Mo, because you have compassion. <laughs> With because that, even why though you, is this grown ass man with the fourteen, with the 14 year, old. year old child, even even though you told all those moving me in my teeth, oh my god, <laughs> you still have compassion. <laughs> he told all those moving people your teeth. Yes. First of all, that's a lie. <laughs> but okay. <clears throat> mm, mm mm. That's really sad. Okay, so the person that said she was she was acting too grown, he he explained himself in this comment. He said, uh, he said I her. feel for her. But uh, she but if would've... she would have lied and said she was 18, it wouldn't have happened. You know what that sounds like though? It sounds like the same people who said those girls that R. Kelly was messing around with were fast. The point is the adult should have known better. You can't visit that kind of responsibility on a child because the frontal lobe of a child doesn't really develop until they're 25. That's why I ignore half can these I, people that in I the comments we're talking about. Come on, devil's advocate. Come on. Talking to Mike. Talking to Mike Mo. In this situation, I don't think there are some adults that are just plain sick, like completely sick. It is, it's not even about their age. They're just sick individuals. And I think in the sense i like i said i feel sorry for the for the, the girl that this happened to but at times that's why i believe that as children they should be monitored i, I do feel that i as oh, children sure. they should be monitored but, because but, but of come on now but how many times like this correct but how many times did our parents try to monitor us and we were sh we, we you know we were able to Duck and dodge and get to do what the fuck we Mama, want. Mama, I do. know you watching this, but I did sneak a boy to it in the front window. And that's what I'm trying oh to say. Now, 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 <laughs> now, now, in that in that example, in that example right there, what if that boy was crazy like this boy and killed you in that house? Yeah. People would have been looking at Miss Mary like, well, where were you? Why right. didn't you know? No, sometimes the parent does know what's going on. I mean, th the parent is, you know, has their children on some sort of a schedule, they yeah. have some sort of um structure but sometimes we're slick i yeah. know i did a lot of shit i wasn't supposed to do you understand what i'm saying so like we can't even say that that parent didn't do what they were supposed to do you know what i'm saying like i remember there was a uh after school commercial they said come on do you know where your children are right now like it's 10 o'clock do you know where your children correct. are you remember it's that? 10 p.m do you know where your children are you could think your kids are right outside but child they five blocks over you can say to them, don't leave off this street, bitch. Time you go upstairs and get in the shower, bitch. They five neighborhoods over. So then what are you so like? So then because per, like I said, these this individual is a sick individual. And yes. when you are a sick individual, there's no reasoning. I don't think there's any reasoning that you have. So in this situation, what's the best thing? Because yes, we can blame the guy. But like I said, if the guy is who he is like this what can you really do um i don't What's the measures to take? i don't really know how to spot to specifically answer that question but i do know that the the times that we live in now yeah are are way more dangerous than when we were growing up. I mean, we lived in some dangerous times correct so, I, and I, the I, times are more are so much more dangerous i think that parents should be even more heavily locked in on their kids. But I don't even know what type of relationship that they that the dad had with the daughter because I, I, I because I, I heard him him calling her the daughter, you know, by her name. It's you know, he he and he and him and his But that doesn't mean that the father didn't love the child. Yeah, I don't think that that doesn't you mean that they, they didn't love. Because like sometimes in those instances and even, you know, in your own experience. In my own experience. Sometimes it takes your parent. But here's the, your parent. But this is the thing. You. And this is the thing. With, even with trans people, Craig, trans people have to give their parents the full opportunity yes. to mourn the loss of their 
of their child. Correct. Because their child is no longer. My mother had to go through a full grieving period. Correct. And if my mama fuck up and sometimes they call me Tim or she say boo or whatever, I'm not nailing my mama to the cross. Correct. Because you, like that. you know because that's, that's not, her not intention. my mother's intention. My right. mother that my mother had to go through the process or whatever, but she also gained a gained. Uh, 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 she gained another person, right? You know, and, and, so it's, and the same is true with gay people. I think sometimes we come out to our family, and sometimes our family are kind of taken aback. Our parents, in particular, are sometimes taken aback, and we're sometimes we don't give them grace. Sometimes we're so upset with them, we're so, and it's like, well, bitch, you were in the closet for twenty two years, and now that you finally came out, you want everybody to be on board, bitch, because you just came out. Bitch, you were locked up for 22 years. Give a bitch some break, a break. You understand what I'm saying? I think sometimes we have to give give out because it doesn't mean that they're never going to come around. And I'm not, I'm not at all saying that you have to let your parents disrespect you until they come around. What I'm saying is, you know the difference between when your parents are straight up disrespecting you, talking about I'm not with that gay shit, that punk shit. That's different from like with my mom. My mom was like, listen, I'm not taking this as well as I thought I could. My mother was like, I can't, I, I'm not, I'm not handling this as well as I thought I could. She said, so this ain't sitting well with me. And she just kind of pulled back a little bit. And it was just like, okay, well, girl, you do your thing and I'm gonna do mine. But she wasn't one of those people like, yeah, don't bring that gay shit around me. Da, 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 da. Well, I take that back because she did say that at first. She said, when I come down, wait a minute. There, listen, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Miss Bear is threatening me in the comments. What's she saying? Miss Bear down there threatening me, girl. She said, if I knew then what I know now, you would have got those hands. You should, I feel like giving you these hands now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but the thing is, I just think that sometimes we don't give our parents the latitude, the, the room, the space to kind of grow into understanding. You know what I mean? And and, and again, and, and I have to say it again, I'll underscore it again. It's just like when... I came out. It took me 22 years to even act on the feelings. So I couldn't be mad with my mother and not allow her and expect her to be okay after me telling her for after two weeks. Go ahead. Because um, so for people that are saying that I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. First of all, you guys need to listen and not be ready just to respond. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying put that, the camera on you most so they can see the compassion. <laughs> And the tenacity in your put it on you. Oh, yeah, is this what we got you a cam for? It's the mo cam. Focus step, focus step. There we go, because we're not gonna get your right. hands. So, like I'm saying, is just this. I'm not saying that you have you have to be a certain like I'm not blaming the guy that did it. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that what are the measures to take to prevent this from happening? I'm agreeing with Madison. On maybe we don't we don't know how the relationship with the father father was because in my point of view I believe that especially when you're at that age you should be able to t a child should tell their parents hey this is who I'm hanging out with these are the people that I'm talking to whatever so when a situation does arise they can know how they can know how to handle it I'm not, now my situation in saying that you can't just say hey, yeah, the guy is sick, but you have to look at it like this. If a retarded... God, I know you can't say that. If a mentally challenged person came up to you and just started hitting you, I know what Maddie will do. She going to hit him back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hitting but, any bitch to hit me back. But you're not supposed to hit them back. Sorry. But because why? They don't have control. They don't have the line. Yes, they do. No, they don't, you put That's your weird. hands up in the air, bitch. You put your Maddie, they don't have. They don't well, have okay. Control. Well, I used to work with. I used to work with people that was like you said. The guy that the guy that was behind you. When you I worked with mentally challenged individuals. Let me put the no, back no, on we you. talking. No, no they, they can see me. They can't they can see, see me. They can't I, see they you. Can see me right my, my, everything. Oh, this. Is I worked with mentally challenged <laughs> individuals <laughs> that stood up there and told us told that they was gonna bash me. Uh -huh. That motherfucker man was standing behind there plotting on me. <laughs> and I told that bitch, we will die together today. <laughs> today we will leave Earth together. We not you not gonna jump on me and bitch they motherfucker give you some Millerill or some Ritalin and send your ass bitch back in there. We gonna leave here today. So make the choice. I want to know what Mo's point is. My point is if these people are not completely there in the head and they don't and I believe people like this, 
they don't have, they don't know how to act. They don't have control. They don't have the logic to act properly. So if these people don't have... Don't, don't so you're saying we should excuse his behavior? I'm not saying we should excuse his behavior. I'm saying that when it comes to this type of person, that how are the, me what measures are there to take to prevent this from happening again? I don't know. I, I think that the app. Let's talk about the app. Hold on. Let's 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 let's. Okay. Well, let's because talk. If she, put, if she put on her profile, she's eighteen. She's on a dating profile. She's with a man. She's with a man. Okay. It's possible to meet up with these type of deranged sick people. It's possible because grown women run into these type of men. But my thing is, okay, let me just say this. When I was in high school, hold on. Let me let me even put this back on you guys. Sorry. Hold on. When I was in high school, most of the girls that I went to high school, Baltimore, most of the girls that I went to high school with were dating niggas that weren't in high school. They were 16. Well, yeah, well listen, that was 17. But let's talk about it, bitch. R, R. Kelly was doing his thing. They, they were, that R. Kelly shit was going on in the black community long before R. Kelly. But that was normal. That was a normal thing. It I, was normalized. It was normalized. I know some dick, some, man, that's some shit I want to say, bro. But it's normalized because the people don't see nothing wrong with that. Right. The, it was so many girls going to cope. It's a school called Cope. You have, it's, it's, they got that in y'all? We got a school called Paquin, which it's, was a school for girls pre that were pregnant. pregnant. It's called Cope. The girls out there at Cope, some of them had the same baby daddy. Correct. He sold dope in the, in the neighborhood. So what's the difference? What if what if one of those 16-year-old girls met a guy out and he ended up being... Because, I mean, there was a girl... I remember a girl that I went to school with. She was dating a guy, and he ended up killing her. And this was a cisgender girl, female, born female. This boy killed her. So it's just like, we can't say that because this young trans girl was 14 and she put on her profile that she was 18. People doing that shit all of the time. But the thing is that I'm just saying that, is it right for you? Like, for example, if I, if I'm, if me, I go into the, if I go into the hood, iced out, I don't, in a random hood, iced out, whatever. And they come and they rob me. Are are people going to come to me and be like, "Damn, are you okay?" Nah, they're going to be like, "Nah, nigga." And I'm not saying that's what they should do for her. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just bringing putting my own situation. Are people going to be looking at me saying, "Dang, bro, you okay? What happened?" I, and I tell them, "Oh man, I had my ice on and they came and robbed me." They're going to look at me like, "Why were you in this neighborhood with all this ice on your neck?" I think that's different. No, yeah, my that point is that. She, I'm not, and I'm like I said, I'm not saying she's at fault. I'm just saying that we have to take better precautions into protecting these young children. Because if she was allowed to be online on a dating app saying that she's 18 and older, but baby, she, she meets up with this sick guy that okay, he finally he, he finally meets this girl. Okay, let's spin a little bit. What, what, if she, what if she wasn't 14? What if she was of age? It's still wrong on the guy. Well, I'm that's what I'm saying. So then my, the question is like. But my, my point is to keep this child out of danger. Why she should not be on a dating app. Correct. That she's 18 years how, so old. So how do we. So the question. But, but my point is girls in high school shouldn't be saying it's that they're. still wrong. Right. So I, even I, if it's not on a dating app. They shouldn't be doing. My point is no child. No. If you're trans. If you're um cis. It doesn't matter. You should. As a child, you should not be on a dating app saying that you are 18 years old meeting up with the So my child. question is that's all how, so my question, how do we prevent it? That's so, my point. I how? think that's what, so that? the so we so I think that the apps the apps have to get more stronger. But how do they do that? I, I, I don't know. But you have to upload an ID. ID? Yeah. You have to upload case, an ID. Yeah. Like you gotta get more stronger on how you allow people to uh, to use your app it cr easily creating a, a profile on a dating app easily creating a profile but, on but, a dating app but, but see this is my my point is this though and i'm going to tie it into a conversation that we had before remember when those young boys it was some young black boys i think they were around 15 and they had broke into this man's house they broke into a black man's house this story happened here mm -hmm. in georgia that black man shot and killed those boys and there were actually people who looked at that news story and said, 
Well, why did he shoot them? He should have, he should have, they were underage. He should have asked. So what was he supposed to do? Card them when they came in his motherfucking house? Bitch, you come over to my house. I'm shooting. And uh, I, it was that. Unfortunately, Craig, I can't even say I'm mad at that man. So, I can't say I'm mad at that man. Because I mean, well, don't be mad at me because I'm blowing any one of you pussy ass holes <laughs> head off. You come over to this motherfucking house, bitch. I'm, I'm with a chopper. And you and I'm coming out. I may get arrested for coming outside. Look, just don't come. Bitch, don't come. She got right. she got them hidden everywhere. Bitch, she so don't come. Everywhere. Don't come in here. Don't come here. <laughs> and I know the story you're talking about because we covered that yes, story. Yeah, and I yes. watched and I watched the people say, They're like, well, why he what? and I watched the, the family members say, he wasn't doing that. He so you supposed to wait until this nigga came in here that fully armed niggas come in this motherfucker, and that man wasn't supposed to open fire. No. Right. Bitch, you, if I'm asleep and you wake up and half of your body in the window, <laughs> that's how they're going to fire you. Blue skies, it's not a horrible analogy. You just didn't follow. My point is, those parents didn't know where their kids were. were. There was no app involved. There was no app invo involved. Those parents didn't know where those kids were. I'm sure those people's, those kids' parents thought they were somewhere that they weren't. They could have very well said, oh, my, we going to the movies. And then they, at some man's house, trying to break in i don't know what so the scenario no was one, but i'm so just saying really there's you can't blame the parents like this really you can't no, in, in some instances in not, some no. instances you cannot no, in some I instances no. you can't you have you have some parents who are very much so actively involved with it in their kids like, like i said my mom was very involved in my life but there are definitely things that i did and snuck around and did yes me know. i did too you understand? i did yeah like, look at all of the times that you those of you that are adults that are watching you told your parents that you were going to hang out at one of your girlfriends' house. You were spending the night and your ass was somewhere fucking. And got pregnant. The first time. And how many times I done been out to the abortion clinic with some of y'all? Right. I done been to the abortion clinic with so many of my girlfriends that I used to, when we, when my, when I used to ride past the building, I used to be like, oh my God. I done been to the chop shop so many times. Right. The kitty chop shop. I just been like, oh my God. It used to be right there, honey, right across the street from the University of Miami. Like a parent can't be helicoptering all day, every day. It's just like when you're in a relationship, you expect that you're with someone who has a sense of self and a sense of self-worth and integrity, and they're not doing some shit behind your back. But you can't helicopter. Bitch, you got to go to work. You got a life, and bitch, and I'm just not that interested well, to Craig, be trying to follow you and figure out what you're doing all day long. Well, Craig, you know, but th th that's different when it's, when it's within a relationship because that's a grown-ass adult. They should be able to know. They hopefully they should be able to be able to act right, especially in a relationship. But as a child, of course, we were all children. We know that we get into mischief and we do and we do stuff like that. But I agree with Maddie. Maybe these dating apps or whatever they should have to, ID. There needs to be stronger. It needs to be a stronger system implemented in these dating apps. Craig, we all. So, bitch, we we, we we take a picture. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. No, no, you oh, no, you're there. Because you <laughs> you've been looking at your panties wrapped around your hair for the longest. Okay. So only an older person would take well, that. somebody thought they were yours. Only a person. You no, know, mine would be a little bit bigger than that. You would actually be able to wrap your whole head up in my panties and walk around like a turban with them on. So, if you thought you were reading me, the I'm reads on you. <laughs> I know I got big, I wear big panties, bitch. I got a big ass, big hips, and a big cock. <laughs> so I need some pair of panties to tote around all this good motherfucking bottle. <laughs> but see, the other thing too is, even in the scenario with R. Kelly, those girl, a lot of those girls, they were lured. He had people that would go down to the high school. Same thing with Epstein. <laughs> the same thing with Epstein. Like I think sometimes we're thinking from an adult perspective and a mm -hmm. mindset, and we're not thinking about these kids are sometimes 15 and 16. And you know, and a 40 year old adult can sometimes lure a kid. Okay, so let me tell some truths, right? Mm -hmm. I remember I was 15 years old. Mama, don't you think about it, girl. And we used to be on the chat line, it was Quest. Mm -hmm. We used to be on the Quest phone line, and I used to be on the Quest line talking to men on the Quest line, talking to them. And I remember telling the boy, a man that I was 15 years old, 14, somewhere in that area. You know, on the on the chat line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this your girl. 
Yeah, this your girl, Keisha. Bitch, my name up in Keisha, everybody. Yeah, this your girl, Keisha. Come on, Keisha. You know what I'm saying? I'm um five two. <laughs> How tall were you, girl? Five two. Uh huh. Go give me them stats, girl. One thirty five. Uh huh. Green eyes. Girl, how many? How much? Wait, 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 girl. Wait, wait, wait. Green eyes. Wait a minute. Go, wait, wait. Black, but wait. green eyes. Wait a minute. I need you to reverse a little bit. Yes. Wait. Five two and what? One thirty five. I was fourteen, fifteen. I was definitely that way. Okay, girl. <laughs> girl, she was tiny. How about the height, though? How about the height? I was five two. Girl, <laughs> that, that, that has not changed. <laughs> Girl, she was tiny, girl. <laughs> Bitch, I was 14 for you. So, you green know. Eyes and I what else? Girl, what else you say girl, on your, green on your eyes thing? eyes or whatever. So, you know, press that two or that three. You know. So, girl, y'all so know what. Hold on. Tamika said her name was Tammy. T right. Ah. Press that two or that three. <laughs> if you want to get at me. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucking ah. quest. Oh God. Bitch, don't play like y'all hoes went on the quest. Girl, I was on the number line. I don't know what it means. Some of y'all bitches still on the quest right now. Well, listen, when I first went to Atlanta, it was the number line. It was given, what's up, six feet. So it was me and one of my girlfriends. And like, we, used to, we used to be on there. So Golden we, Brown. Um, so we get to school. We've been talking to the to the man. So the, the children come meet us at the school. The man come meet us at the school. Oh, really? He came but we tell school? the truth that we told the truth that we was boys. <laughs> oh, you did, lady. Yeah, we talk we, like you know. After they press that two or that three, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. it's like because you get you young and you scared. Like uh, you know, we boys. And what did they say? Okay. <laughs> Where you go to school? <laughs> okay. We coming anyway. <laughs> what your school? What's your school? What's what's your school? Centennial. Centennial Middle School. So y'all told them really were I. We, was, we didn't know what the fuck we was saying. We was right. We were kids. And, and some of these people in here talking about the parents should be one hundred percent. Bitch, my mom was responsible. Bitch, listen, my mom. I, I, listen, my mom would have told my. I know Miss Mary up there. She's bitch, my mom was up there hot right now. Right. My mom would have told my motherfucking. My mom would have told my motherfucking head off my body. Right. <laughs> my mom would have beat my brains out of my motherfucking head. I know she was very up there shaking her head right and now. And my thing is, you, 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 some of you all have kids that are texting things right now, and you have no clue what's in their phone. My motherfucking neck. They texting their little titties, Probably. their little, their little uh, coochies and dicks. My mom would have, my mom would want to bust me in my head right now. They got apps y'all don't even know about. They got their little, uh, their little nudes locked up, and you don't even know. You think you looking through their phone? I no said, one lies to you more than you lie to yourself. Kev, Kev, I said 14, 15 was from around that area. Girl, I'm I'm damn near 50, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's a long time she, ago. She, she hot like you were 15 the other day. Right. <laughs> girl, my mama is hot right now. Ah. Okay. Press that two or that three. I mean, I chat line for a long time. I chat line all the way up till I was in 20 something, 21. Right. Really? Yeah, we chat line. Baby, listen, when I start getting my dicks up, bitch, I got my dicks up. You hear me? That chat line was so vicious. See, the the, the way the, the the data apps in the chat line was that was vicious. Yeah, yeah it was. Wild. Child, you got folk that's addicted to that shit today. Today, can't get off. Can't get off the chat line. Sitting up there, phone. And back in the day, you bitch. I don't got. Listen, my so aunt. To have a daughter. My aunt wore me out because I ran her phone bill up for for calling the box. The jukebox. The jukebox. Girl pressing two locker. Yeah, girl, disco Rick is back again. And this time on new record. So let's get busy. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bitch, I used to want to see the wiggle, wiggle video. Girl, you sitting there ran that lady's phone bill up. Bitch! And I bet she was wondering why her phone line. Oh, no, she, she ain't had to wonder because the bitch just said it on the phone bill. <laughs> it, said, it said it right on the phone bill. <laughs> she ain't have to wonder. She did not have to wonder. Bitch, when I say pure destruction, <laughs> bitch, I am so disappointed in you. You ran that late. There's only one place a week ago to see. Girl, you ago. should have known bitch, better. Bitch, pop that coochie. Girl, you ran that lady's bill up like bitch, that. Bitch, pop that coochie. And didn't think twice. Didn't pop give a coochie. fuck. Yeah. Hey, pop that coochie, baby. Pop, pop, pop the coochie. You know how she talking right now? I cannot she believe. Give a fuck. I cannot. Believe. I didn't know that it was going to do that. I, you knew. <laughs> you knew because it surely said how much was the shit because uh, they had the price down on the screen. <laughs> the butterfly, oh, oh, that's old. Let me see your tootsie roll. 
I am so disappointed. <laughs> I just, bitch, I want to know how to do the touch and roll. Girl, I cannot believe you rang that lady's phone. Girl, girl. Ready. Ready, you ain't do, shit for that. Do, do. Ready, you ain't shit for do, that. Do, 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 do. As do, much do. as you complain about me drinking your expensive yeah. water, you ran that lady's phone. One time for the rodeo. Uh, come on, let's ride it, baby. One time for the uh. rodeo. Uh. Come on, let's ride it, baby. Ride Imagine. it. I used to know how to do all the dances. I am so, you should. <laughs> Girl, I am so disappointed. <laughs> then when I tell you, my auntie told my ass up, I would have too. Bitch, it took all that 900. All the not one 900, one, all that shit was took off the phone. Did she take, ran no, it. Did she, did she take any of your money? I don't. This she is, wasn't working. <laughs> Listen, they credited her because you know that's back. Like that's kids was doing that. A lot of kids, oh, a lot of oh. kids did that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the phone company will tell you. Listen, you are responsible for your. Wait phone a minute. Girl. Somebody wrote a name down here. Ooh, hold on. Let me Where, see. girl? That was one of my name. Who is this in the comment? Right there. Who is that? Can I, you want me to put it up there? Who is that? Oh. You, you want me to put it up? Yes. Okay, hold on. Dang it, y'all coming. There it is. It's, it's, oh. Go up. Yeah, okay. yeah. There it is. This person That was your me. name? Shant Maddie, Shantora. Really your name. Shantora. This person know me. Maddie, that was really your name. Shantora. This person know me. Yeah, because there's no way you guessing that. Shantora. There's no way you guessing that. There's no way you guessing that. Shantora. Right, and then out of all names to pick, Maddie, that was the name you picked? And whoever wrote it ain't writing no more. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to commercial break. <laughs>